Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use masks to do your coloring in Procreate. Because it is Easter, I will draw some random eggs and I'm just drawing uh, the outlines of the eggs. So here's one egg and they don't need to be perfect. It's just uh, to I'm gonna fill the egg using drop color and I'm going to draw some different eggs on top of each other. So you have an overlay of colors. And when you use drop color, you can, you know, when you drop it in and keep your Apple Pencil or your other device or your finger on the screen, you can adjust the threshold of your color drop. To the right, it's to its maximum and to the left, it's less of a threshold. And then you see a line and I don't want that. So I just swipe it to the right. Just an, add another color. There are a bit of uh, contrasting colors and a bigger egg in front. And I want to color in all the eggs like Easter eggs. And what you can do is press on this icon and set it to automatic. And then it just feels like a uh, a magic wand if you're familiar with working in Photoshop this is the uh, same thing as a magic wand so you press on an egg and then it will create a mask so when you start painting you see all these diagonal lines and this is the mask so what you now can do is paint within the shape and they're all separated because these other two eggs, the orange and the blue one, are masked out. So you can draw in some funky shapes and maybe even using some different brushes. So I go to Artistic and just press on the Kaczynski ink. And I'm just going to select a color and make a, a shade of that color, another value of the same color. So you can paint in some shades and you just stay in the yellow egg, so it's not overlapping the other eggs. And what you can do after that is just select another color, maybe purple or something. And then just draw in some dots. And in this way you stay within the shape and you can do that with the next. So you have to deselect it. So, so the selection tool, you have to press again and then press on the blue egg. And when you press on your brush, now this blue egg is selected and everything around it is a mask. Maybe white. So you can paint in some different shades. And in this way, you know, you can easily paint within a shape can do that by using alpha lock and I'll leave a link in the description box down below to that video but that is just uh, for uh, a selection of your entire layer and now you can select different shapes within the same layer maybe make it a little bit smaller Maybe another color. This is just a basic 
drawing I'm doing. But you know, you can use it for a lot of different things, especially when you're doing more graphical stuff like painting in uh, a comics. And I'm going to do the orange, select the selection tool, then press on it and draw in some other shapes in here as well. Maybe use another brush, the airbrush. And the soft airbrush is a very big brush. So you can do some nice shading with it. So I'm going to select the orange and then darker value. So I can, you know, do some gradients within the egg. So this is going to be the darkest part and maybe some lighter or some highlights. You can just paint within the selected shape which is a very cool feature to use. So if you like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Then I can see if you really like it and I can do more short videos like this about, you know, painting in Procreate and do some tips and tricks. If you want to know and learn everything about Procreate, I've made a playlist of, I think 36 videos. And they're short videos and it's just a technical part so if you watch the entire playlist you will know everything that and all the features that are in procreate not the best of drawings but it's just a demonstration of how you can use the mask you see these diagonal lines and you can change them as well when you go to I'm just going to deselect it so now you have on one layer and this is the layer you have three different shapes with different colors and you know you can mask everything out and draw in some shadings and, and keep them separate. What you also can do is change the mask or the, the percentage of your mask. You can do that by pressing on this button, go to prefs and then look for selection mask visibility and here you can change the opacity of your mask. So if now set it to 100% and when I'm going to select something and paint, you see that it is very strong, but sometimes you just want to have it uh, so that you can see the rest of your uh, painting or drawing and then you can set it to 50% or something less. And Another neat trick is uh, I'm now selecting this shape, but when you press again, it's like using a shift key. So you can select different shapes and mask them out. So when I'm now going to paint, I can paint within these shapes. I hope you liked this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed to my channel, you can go to my page and there you see the subscribe button and next to it is a little bell. That's the notification bell. And when you press on that bell, you always get a notification if I have a new video online and then you'll see all the videos I'm doing. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus and Periscope. You can buy my stuff on Vimeo On Demand, Etsy, iBooks and Redbubble. Subscribe to my newsletter 
and get free stuff. You can find the links in the description box down below.